So now let's add on some shadow. And um, I'm actually going to grab, I'm, I'm using the color picker tool to grab the, the base color again. And then um, Sykert in his videos, he shows you how to do shadows and everything like that. But a good way to do it is to just take what your color is currently and go halfway to black for shadows. So I'm going halfway to black and then I'm still on a, oh, I'm, I want to use the brush tool still, soft brush, um, still really not very opaque and I'm just going through and darkening out. See this 8% is a little bit too much actually. Let's go down to, to 5 and the thing about shadow is that you got to think of light, light and shadow are all about thinking about how light works. It's all photons. And so, you know, being a programmer, you can, you can understand that you're an engineer. You understand that, um, the way light works is light is going to be coming from, let's, let's get some light rays going on here. Um, I'll do a line. Actually, I'll just, I'm just going to draw it with a pencil. So um, light is going to be coming. Oops, I need to draw on this layer. And I want to use a bright yellow. So light is going to be coming from this direction. Photons are all coming from wherever. Yeah, in, this, in this example, let's just say that it's the sun. So as light, as light um, hits it, it, it bounces off. And that's how you get that's how you get these highlights. And that's why this section is in shadow. But why does it seem right that the very bottom right here is a little bit more highlighted? That's actually correct because what happens is as light well, usually there's there's something like a, a wall. So like um let's draw the wall over here. Um Oops, there. Let's just say that is a wall over here. And what light would do, more like that, okay. What light would do is it would, it would, the photons would shoot down and then they would bounce off. So what's happening here is the light goes like this, bounces off, and is hitting the very bottom and just sort of barely um, lightening up the bottom of it, of, of the sphere. So I'm going to undo all that. So that's why, that's why that is. And Psyker does a way better job of explaining this. But there, we've drawn a sphere. And, and it all depends on the material of what this sphere would be. But let's say we're a shiny material. We could actually go and um, create a little highlight spot to make it really shiny. So let's do that. Let's um, make a shiny highlight here. Um, and as we're um, as we're making this more and more of this this highlight, it tend it can tend to um, shift the color a little bit. I'm not sure whether it would shift more towards red or blue. Actually, in this case, I'm obviously not quite as accomplished of an artist yet, but I think it would shift more towards white. So I'm not sure where exactly white would be on this all of this, but I have a feeling. Blue is a little bit more. Nah, blue is more. Let's let's try a little bit more red. Whatever. It's only gonna be slight. So it's gonna it's gonna really um, lighten up here. Let's let's do that. It needs to be a lot lighter. There we go. Starting to get that that nice shiny highlight there. And I I'm actually doing this a little bit wrong because this highlight should actually be a little bit more up here up to the top. Because as you can see the sh the shadow is kind of if you got if you think of the photons and the and the shadow is down there, the the highlight point would be a little bit more up top. So I I've, I've actually done this a little bit wrong and that's why it looks a little bit off. So I'm going to try and make the highlight look like it's a little bit more up here on the top by drawing more highlights up here. And then, um, and then we can go and set the opacity a bit higher. 
and go maybe a little warmer and a little bit smaller on this and draw in a little bit more of that, that highlight there and, and then we can go even more opaque and just do a tiny, tiny circular highlight there. See that kind of gets it gets it looking shiny and I could even fix this um, but I won't I won't fix it. I'll let this art just be kind of be janky. So there it is. We've drawn a sphere. That's kind of how you would draw a sphere. And you can of course learn a lot more from a lot of other other artists out there, but this is just a basics video. So um, we've drawn a sphere.